Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing Aries inspired yoga. So for today's class we're going to focus on the deep representation meaning of what Aries is. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's the pure representation of spring, of a true new beginning, of a spark. And in that regard it's also the first representation of the divine into this realm. So the first representation of the, the divine is actually a concept. So Aries very much works in the realm of concepts and ideas and that's how the new starts. It starts with the concept. It really represents inspiration, intuition and impulse. Impulse because Aries is very much about the present without forethinking of the future or consequences and really having the impulse to do, to create action from that divine impulse. And in that pure meaning of it, also Aries is most closely connected to the divine because it's the first spark in the physical from the divine, the first manifestation of the divine in this realm. It's, uh, it's also action and bravery, courage. It's really, really the purity of the and innocence of a child. And we can think of the absolute beginning also very similar to the absolute ending. So Pisces and Aries do melt together because we have the continuum always coming in together. So we work on all those, the impulse, the action, the purity, the emptiness, um, the courage. Those are the themes that will inspire today's class. And of course, the new beginning. Now the sign of Aries is the tool. Supposedly, it represents the horns, but it also represents a sprout, which is what spring is all about. You see sprouts coming out of the ground with absolute power to push through the soil and the stones and the dirt and the leaves and the branches and to come through and a lot of the sprouts look just like that. So that is also the split between the material and the divine. So we have the duality represented but it's coming from the one source. And besides it representing spring and the ram and the connection to the divine is the first sign coming into this sphere. It also represents that power, perseverance to push through, to create, ruled by Mars. And Mars, again, the sign of Mars is the circle, the spirit, with the arrow, which is determination, uh, direction, action taken into the physical world. Those are going to be the things we'll contemplate. So I hope you will enjoy this flow and let's remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, let's inhale the hands over the head and pause here for a moment. Extending the tailbone slightly down so we can really feel the core, the obliques, the pelvic floor, relax the shoulders, engaging the upper back. And let's look up and hold here. I exhale the hands over the heart. We as souls prepare our own births, deaths, and in between. It's such exquisite mechanism. Can you imagine you have picked mother and father, picked the time in history we were to live, you picked the people you even walked by on the street. The best way to, to live life is as a soul, dancing in and out of your incarnation. In chair. And inhale up, arch. 
chair. Inhale up, arching chair. Inhale, right. And exhale, falling forward. Shake the head, smile. You can move side to side here. And step it back, plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. represents that warrior energy that is looking through conflict for harmony the end goal is always harmony even when there is direct, ac direct action taken and when there is conflict and when there is struggle and a battle was with the goal to achieve harmony and here we're going to transition into warrior three warrior one warrior three into revolving half moon left hand on the floor take the right arm up and the back heel up and really lift to warrior one revolving half moon great warrior one revolving half moon to warrior one Straight back, we'll touch the floor in front of the right foot and put the back heel up and come up to standing and bring the knee to the elbow and step it back, warrior. One, so it requires balancing. Let's go again. Touch the floor, push the back heel up, engaging the glutes. Straight back, come up, knee to elbow, warrior one. One more time, lift, come up, warrior one, exhale down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through. Warrior one. Leveling the hip, breathe. Transition into warrior three. Lifting the back heel, level the hips. Warrior one. Feel it. Feel the body. Warrior, 
one. Warrior three. Warrior one. And let's take the right hand to the floor in revolving half moon. Push the back heel up. Lengthen the space between the left hip and the left shoulder. Warrior one. Half moon revolving. Warrior one. Revolving half moon. And now we're going to push the floor straight back. Push that back heel up and come up to standing. Knee to opposite elbow. Warrior one. Exhale. Bring the floor. Coming up. Step it back. Warrior one. Last time straight back. Push the heel up, come up, step it back, into warrior one, and exhale, down plank. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga is here, push up into plank. We're going to step the feet a little wider, take a big spin with the right hand, and chaturanga, Left arm, chaturanga. You can be on your knees too for the chaturanga. A few more of those. Engage the core. Last one, plank. And we'll take the right leg up. Bring the right knee between the elbows. Press it back and we'll take a jump into squat to the front. Pulse the body, the booty, pulse the body. And we're gonna jump back with the left leg only, right leg in the air. And again, knee tuck, jump through. We jump into squat, pulse in a really strong squat and back knee tuck and jump back knee tuck knee tuck last one And here, when we jump back, we'll jump back with the right leg on the floor. Knee tuck. Squat. Really squeeze. Knee tuck. Squeeze. Knee tuck. Squeeze. Knee tuck. Squeeze, knee tuck, squeeze, and jump back into legged plank, to chaturanga, to upward dog, to knees on the ground, and let's glide the right hand underneath, palm facing up. back of the shoulder on the floor. And opposite side. Coming up onto the knees. Then 
standing up, standing up on the knees, lean back and come up in one straight line, really feeling the connection with the entire core. Working with, when we contemplate Aries, when we meditate on Aries, we're working, we're focusing on the realm of ideas and concepts. Which is the first representation, the spark of the physical, the origin of the physical. And hands on the ground. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Open the right hip on top of the left. Drop it behind. Wild thing. Hands on the ground. Spin the right knee between the elbows and across. And another wild thing variation. And one more time. One legged down dog, open the hip, drop it behind. Wow. And reverse it, cross the knee. Wow. One more. Cross it, wow thing. And one legged plank. Step the right foot between the hands. Come up in high lunge, lower the knee, and hop up. Straight back, lower down. Take the right leg behind you and hop up. Step it through, straight back, lower. The knee, hop up, exhale down, hop up, step it through, hop up, step it through, hop up, step it through, hop up, and hop up. And step it down, you can walk in place here. And let's take the left leg up. Open the hip, bend the knee, step it behind. Wow thing, open the hips, open the chest, open the heart. And plank, knee tuck, across. Wow thing on the other side. And Spin it around one more time. One legged down dog. Wow thing. Knee. Wow thing. Again. One legged dog. Drop it back. Wow thing. Finish this. And one legged plank. Knee tuck, step it through, straight back, come up, bend the knee, hop up, straight back, lower down, hop up, step it through, hop up, down dog, hop, Lunge, hop, down dog, hop, lunge, hop, and hold here. We're gonna step at the front in chair. Touch the floor and as if you're scooping water, reach up and arch and lower down squat reach up squat reach up really using every joint in your body and feeling them 
the muscles connecting, the physical connecting to the intention. And arch, exhale, forward, fold. Hands on the ground, look ahead of you. And fold one more time, forward, fold. Hands on the ground, look ahead of you. Bring your hands right above the knees. We're gonna go for a stomach vacuum. So exhale completely and hollow the belly. You can bring that inner fire. back plank let's take the right arm up side plank knee tuck plank left side knee tuck opposite side knee tuck keep alternating and really moving and feeling the body focusing on the moment on the fiery nature of the moment and plank pulling the belly and lower down onto your belly squeeze your elbows into your chest and open up here Exhale down, we're going to spread the arms out, take the right leg up and aim the right leg over your body, over the back of your body and across towards the left arm in scorpion like movement and change. And change. This is from the deal class from the herbal series I did on my website. We did experimental moves a few more alternating and hands underneath the shoulder come up onto all fours now we're gonna do my favorite newest I should say favorite ab move strong abs very much is part of strong willpower and will represents Aries. Aries represents the will power. And the realm of concepts and ideas, very important. That is the most important thing to remember, concepts and ideas. Maybe this sounds a little elusive, abstract, but that is what Aries represents it's an abstract concept of the fire element. All right, so here, speaking of fire, we're gonna lift the knees, pull the belly in, really squeeze it in, and we're going to take the left knee across, tap it on the floor, and bring it back and tap it on the floor, and bring it back and tap it, and really squeeze. So we're working on this part of the oblique. Let's go. That was demo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And rest for a moment. I'm giving you some of the new moves we've been working on. We have been working on a lot of new combinations. 
I'm trying to share here a few of the <sighs> or both series moves and opposite side take the knees off the floor and we're going to tap and bring it back tap and bring it back really squeeze tap down dog <sighs> lifting the tailbone high <sighs> one dry breath <sighs> take the right leg up step it through high lunge Exhale the hands behind, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, lift and lower down into humble warrior, forehead towards the ankle. Inhale just halfway up, chest parallel to the floor, open the right shoulder up, lengthen through the crown of the head. The hands are pressing away from you in two directions. Down and back. And come up and bring the hands towards your left hip here. Soften, relax. Surrender to this stretch. And here, keep that twist. Reach over the head and feel that length. And hands in prayer. Twist. And release. Vinyasa. Take the left leg up. Step it through high lunge. Hands in behind you. You can reverse the clasp. Press the hands down the back leg, open the chest, humble warrior, slowly lower down with control, press into the back heel, hands are pressing away from you, let's bring the chest parallel to the floor, and twist, left shoulder up, press the hands away softly and gently, and Come up and glide the hands towards the right hip, soften the shoulder. And reach over the head, feel that length here, along the obliques, psoas, hands in prayer twist, surrendering to the twist, and release. Plank. Here we're going to pull the belly up towards the spine and round the back and flatten the back and pull up, lift, 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 and flatten. One more. And I want you to pull really hard until your muscles are shaking. Pull and flatten and pull and flatten and pull. And child's pose. And breathe. And let's take the toes under, downward facing dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through warrior two. the nobility of the warrior poses you can lean into the, the back body reverse the warrior wrap your left hand back and around and you can keep that wrap 
and shift into standing half moon. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. And back into revolving warrior. One more time. You can release that back arm if you need to. Or keep it. Standing half moon. One more time. Something to come back to. All that combination. And step it back. Release the arms, warrior two. Side angle. You can reach over the head. You can go down, hands down, into an arm balance. And Chaturanga Vinyasa. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Feel the core and lean into the back body. Feel the connection. Reverse the warrior. You can wrap that arm back and around. Look up. And now you can look ahead of you and shift into half moon, standing half moon with a wrap around and revolving warrior. Standing half moon. Revolving warrior. Step it back. Release. Side angle. Reaching over. I just stay here. We'll go into an arm balance. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, hold it, and child's pose. Come up and you can open the heels, sit between the heels and lay back. Lowering down, keeping the knees down to stretch the quads. up and we're going to bring the hands down head into the hands for a headstand pressing into the elbows one leg or both over the head down we're going to bring the legs in front of us for a forward bend inhale coming up reach over to one side over to the other 
One more time. And let's bring the right foot into the left upper thigh, lower down, forward fold. Coming up, opposite side. Coming up, take that left foot into Half lotus, forward fold, changing sides, take the right foot on the outside of the left knee and take the left hand to the right knee, look over your shoulder twist. Opposite side. Soles of the feet together. Reverse plank, extend the legs and lift. Release down, rounding the back and lower down carefully. One vertebra at a time. Let's bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Allowing the thread of this moment to penetrate the emptiness of the moment to sink with your consciousness. And let's extend the right leg over the floor as far down as you can without removing the lower back from the floor. So that will be your guiding light, the lower back. Connecting to the floor. Pull the belly in and engage Malabanda, the pelvic floor opposite side. Hug your right knee in and lower down. And one more time. Change. Belly in, Malabanda, great. Both knees in. Feel your head off the floor, reach forward. We're going to extend the right leg and change. Left, change, 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 change. Really pull the belly in, bicycle the legs, press the lower back down. Shift onto the left side. We're going to touch the toes. One, in a side crunch, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And lay onto your back, lift the legs up. Wow.
and leave the legs up, shoulder stand. And let's lower the knees over the ears. Roll out of this. Let's bring the feet on the ground. Press your lower back down, hands up, and we're going to do a pelvic tilt. Pressing the lower back into the floor. Release. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Reach with your hands over the head. Now this is going to really engage parts of your core, so pay attention. Be present in your body. Third chakra, will power one, two, three, four, five. So feel it here, how holding the hands really engages your core. Bring awareness to this. Pull the belly in, in just a mini vacuum. Release, and we're gonna hold the hands here. Bring the left knee in and extend it without removing the lower back of the floor. So that might be really high for you or low. Just explore your own strength and steadiness here and release. This is the opposite of Aries, right here we're working on patience. And right knee in and extend. Patience, mindfulness, release. Left, Aries is the impulse, no thinking, which is a beautiful thing, but here we're applying also patience. Patience into the present moment, right knee. Reach. One more time on both sides. Really feel your core. This is the time to feel it. Great. Hug your knees into the chest. And let's go into a supine twist. Right knee across. Left knee across. and lay down make yourself comfortable let your feet and hands flop out so they're not supported you're not supporting your head everything is relaxing and softening smiling and feeling a spark of light in the third eye where ideas and concepts can be seen and just feeling light when we contemplate the first sign of the zodiac Aries we are connecting to the light that is closest to the divine within the divine from which the beginning is born. The power of innocence that pushes the seed, the seed through the soil into a sprout. That impulse that action into the world. With purity and innocence. And continue to see the third eye, 
his chakra illuminated. With a spinning motion to that light, a spiral. Spiral in the third eye. Soften into the moment, creating softness and presence. Surrendering to all resistance. Let's point the toes and take a big breath in and reach over the head with the hands and stretch. And roll onto one side, keeping the eyes closed. Press yourself up to sit it. Inhale the hands over the head, bring them over the third eye and blink your eyes open and over the heart. And let's look over the left shoulder, chin parallel to the floor, back to center smile and over to the other side. Back to center, lower the ear, left ear over the left shoulder lengthening both sides of the neck opposite side and back to center and let's bring the chin in and bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion courage innocence and love and i'll see you tomorrow with the class scheduled for Tuesday on the website and remember to subscribe and hit the notification button give the class thumbs up so other people can find it and that's a great way to support the channel and remember to flow with strength and ease